Hi, this is Jeff Corhan again. This is my second in a series of weekly video tips to help you to grow your business and to have a life too. The business tip this week is to adapt your process to your customer. Now, first and foremost, I believe that everybody needs a process with which to run their business. And that process has to be understood by everybody in the company. However, how that process is applied to your customers requires some flexibility. I mean, let's face it, some customers that I have like to talk a lot, we, we, we chat and we speak more about everything but business until we eventually get down to business. And that tends to be my preference most of the time and many of my customers are that way as well. I have one customer in particular though who simply likes to get down to business. And this week we were working together because he's got a problem in his business. And we're working to solve this situation to fix this problem when it dawned on me that we could make the situation better by not just fixing the problem, but by also applying a solution of rebuilding the situation from the beginning so that it will be better in the long run and last not just 10 years like the first situation, but maybe 20 or even longer. And he liked this approach and wanted to get rolling with it. And this is another example of adapting your process to the customer, not necessarily giving a solution, but maybe giving a better solution that works better in the long run. So adapt to your customer and don't forget that some people like to build relationships, others don't, they wanna get down to business. But remember that when you're in those business situations to take the approach that, hey, I'm glad to be here and this is the place for me to be right now because I'm here to help you, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, and that's what we're going to do today. And when I was thinking about that, it reminded me of a line in Cameron Crowe's classic film, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You may remember Damone was explaining his five-point plan to his buddy Rad. And the third part of that plan was, wherever you are, always pretend that this is the place to be. And he says, isn't this great? And that's a great approach. And that's what I mean by adapting to the situation. I adapted to my customer's situation by not looking at it as a problem, but an opportunity to take him further in his business so that he can operate more smoothly in the future. So thanks for being with me here this couple of minutes. And speaking of adapting to situations, I've not yet had the opportunity to get the editing software to keep you posted on how to sign up for the e-zines and the video blogs that I'm publishing right now. So here we go, here's my adaptation, and I'll see you next week. Isn't it great?